everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time reviewing on What If Fall was raised by Frost Giants. Now, as you know, this What If series was meant to feature other What If comics, like What If Flash Thompson was Spider-Man, What If X-Men were more cyberpunk and all that. So one of which has Frost becoming a Frost Giant, even having a sort of hammer similar to Mamoyer. And the cover mainly has four of the other frost giants giving a god of war feel. And the story starts off how during the battle with the frost giants, Odin mainly battles against them and eventually comes across Loki's father, Luffy. And together they mainly crash, saying, Surrender, Luffy. You can end this senseless bloodshed and grow soft and fat. And, of course, we see how in the What If continuity, Odin tries to put up the best fight he can, but ends up getting killed by Luffy. And, of course, we see how they invade Asgard, which, despite Frida's best attempts to, to protect Thor, we see how Thor is quickly taken in by the Frost Giants to become, to become their heir, similar to how Loki was taken in by Asgardians. And of course, we see see how young Thor ends up meeting young Loki, saying, I am Loki, son of Lofi. No, he does not like to admit it. Ah, uh, you sound like my father. You, you, you funny. Speak. You do not look like a frost giant. And of course, we see how they slowly become friends. And we kind of see how even in the battlefield, they go against frost giant-like creatures. And we kind of see how, despite their best attempts, the Frost Giants end up getting massacred. And we see how Loki des decides to try and prove himself, but of course ends up kind of becoming costly. And we see how Fool says, I will s d send you to hell, foul beast, before you hurt my brother. And of course, ends up kind of rummaging the blade into the beast. And we see how it ends up getting getting lightninged, and Thor saying, Thor, Prince of Winter is the Predator. And of course, we see how Luffy is meant to be impressed with Thor's skills, and him saying, But you, Thor, do your people proud, your king proud. Perhaps one day you may wield Ice Crusher, a hammer worthy of a future king. And we see how it kind of becomes Fool's White Whale. And we see how one of the Frost Giants disapprove of this, given the fact Fool's as Guardian. And of course we see how Loki's dismayed, and we see how Frida turns out to be alive, and we see how she plays the role of being a friend and a mentor to Loki. And of course, we see how that Loki that doesn't tell False Mum what happens to Fall, and I'm guessing this is because he's that doesn't want her to sort of see what he's become. And we see how she tries to, to you know, be supportive and encouraging of Loki, like an actual mother. And we see how he learns more about Asgard as well as Midgard and wants to go there. And of course, we see how many years later. Thor eventually defeats the Frost Giant that kind of had doubts about him, and we see how he slowly has blue skin, which foreshadows his transformation to a Frost Giant, and ends up killing the Frost Giant, saying, Maybe no, Grandma, but I will stiff to earn it. And of course, we see how, how Loki learns from Thor that they're going to attack other realms and that, and you can kind of tell Loki is horrified knowing that Thor's become a shell of his former self. And we see how Loki decides to let Fre Frida out, decide that they can't, can't stay here any longer. And we kind of see how on the ruins of Asgard, it turns out Luffy kind of lied to Thor, saying that he only bought him here because they have a traitor and someone else admits. And it, I like how there's Monia there to sort of show how far Thor had fallen. And we see how Thor becomes so devoted to 
his adopted father. And we kind of see how they find Loki and Freya. And they try to activate the Rainbow Bridge. And we see how Luffy tries to kill Loki for his betrayal. And we see how Loki says, I hurt. Think you, Grace, was anywhere. And of course, ends up stabbing Loki's father in the eye. And we see him saying, No, what did you do? And tries to use Ice Crusher. And we see how Loki tries in vain to get him to see reason. And of course, we see how Frida heals Loki and slowly ends up dying. With Freya seeing one last look of her son, and Loki saying, Oh, what did you, my father and his cursed hammer do that you could not recognise your own mother? And of course, we see how Fool is pretty much trying to kill Loki now that he knew what happened to his mum. And we see how Loki tries to get him to see reason, and saying that he just wanted his own place, his own territory. But decides to let him leave. And we see how Loki leaves. And not before asking him if he wants to come along. To see Asgard and that. To see Midgard. And we see how Thor points out. That there be no one left to defend Asgard. And the other realms. Or the Frost Giants and all that. And mainly leaves. And we see how Loki has now made a life for himself. With a wife and two kids on Midgard. And we see how his wife tells him to get firewood. And says, I, I'd rather face a frost giant than anger you, my love. And we see how Loki sees that there's the old amulet from their past. And leaving that notion that Loki now knows Thor is still out there. And yeah, this is the story. So this issue is pretty good. It shows a more darker, more grittier take on Thor and the Hammer. And kind of showing you what Loki's life would have been like had he been the one to have been the champion of Midgard than Thor. So I think this issue deserves a thumbs up. Still good and still alright. So, comic reviewer here, signing out.